Hello everybody, it's me, Keith, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea DS. In the last one, we kind of cheated a bit. Well, really it was more of a double-edged sword, because in between episodes, I had to grind. A lot. As you can see, everybody is level 11, because I did this actually relatively recently because... In my practice file, I got completely destroyed. So I grinded a bit because I think level 11 is pretty good. We should be able to win in the next stage. We should be able to. But these guys are just bait and I'm poor. So they don't get healed. Anyway. Oh yeah, I also changed everybody's equipment. That's that's a good reason to I am poor. I gave Laharl the common axe, you can see, look at it! It's super powerful and he only did like 30 levels of the common axe. Which is really not that much, I'll be honest with you. Especially considering it's the first axe you get. So that's pretty good. And then Etna still got her Bushido lance. Have all, all, all of our mage, mages have the quality staff, even Fier here. And Megan has Nether 35, which is actually pretty powerful. And Isabel just has her normal stuff. Though I did give her slippers, because apparently we got slippers. So, let's just head on over to the Molten Labyrinth. I was going to say Blazing Field. We did that last time! So, on with it. <laughs> Flan is probably breathing her last breath now. She could have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now! What? The pendant's shining! Hot! Hot! Too hot! I have no use for this anymore! Oh, that hurt! Who threw this? That was dangerous! Hmm? This is a beautiful pendant! It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior! I thank you, oh God. Moron, what demon thanks a God? Huh? Who just called moi a moron? Me. Oh, what a lucky day indeed. To be able to confront my rival once again! Uh, wait a second! Since when did I become your rival? Hey! It's Midboss! You're still pestering us? We beat you already, remember? You should never assume that I am dead! Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant! Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant?
Please, Mr. Midboss, may I have the pendant? It's mine! Oh, with all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it! I beg of you! I... I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Man, he's as low as the prince. Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! those with a wicked heart. If you don't let go soon, you'll... Huh? What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? Y yes he should be. That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Told you, you're mid boss. <laughs> Say what you wish, but do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid boss. Hey, you just admitted that you're a mid boss. Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name Mid-Boss again! Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! That's right. Midboss is back, and don't believe him. He says he has a pure heart, but he clearly lies because right character. I can't. I can't see him. I. Oh, I can't see what kind of moves he has. Okay. Anyway, yeah, Midboss. He has the exact same moves as before. The only difference is that he's higher level. A lot higher level. Now you can see why I wanted to grind a bit. He is level 17. And as you can see, he has a lot, I mean a lot of high level lackeys as well. As you can see, again, level 15, level 12, level 14. Yeah, this fight is a difficult fight. Don't take mid boss lightly. Thankfully, we have Laharl here who is a powerhouse. Now, this is my strategy, and I hope it works. I hope it does work, because this is what worked for- Yes, good. This is what worked for me in my practice run, is essentially just have Laharl here, and have him defend, and attract all of the attention. Yeah, he should attract everybody's attention. One more defend, there you go, and then... Not quite. Okay. But, that is enough to attract their attention. So, let's get Sova, Flan, and Fier out here. There she is. Now I'm keeping Fier here since that makes her the closest to all of these guys. And we will open up with her. Her Megafire is actually pretty powerful now, so we want to get rid 
of these guys. So let's just do that. And now we will hit them with all of these spells we have. Now this is ex yeah, it's an expensive spell, but that AoE is going to be worth it. Do you have the exact same? Yes, you do. And you have more SP, so that's good. There you go. Let's see where this gets us. Did, did I? Oh, I remembered something. Um, excuse me one moment. Professionalism, it's what we do. I forgot to turn on friendly effect and enemy effect because this speeds up grinding. And with Disgaea DS being not the quickest game in the world, any any help with grinding is is a is a help. So let's just hope we can kill this guy. 64 damage, not bad, not bad. So Isabel, finish off player. There you go. And hopefully, hopefully, everybody else survives. Megan, don't die, please. You're the clo- Perfect. Okay. I was actually very worried that Megan would die because my thief, in the other save file, died all the time. Pretty much barely anyone survived. So, what we want to do here is... Now, if you remember our last encounter with Midboss, he has that, I think it's called a Donic Shot. We don't want to get hit by that, so we don't want to line our units in a line of three at the most. So we can have, let's say, Etna over here to do her Prinny Raid. There you go. And have Flon over here. I prefer keeping Flon up on this hill, I don't know why, but... I just like keeping Flon there, it's like she's the king of the world, queen of the world, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get Sova out here. Um, that should be good, that should be good because he can't get diagonal to us. We essentially want to hit mid-boss with everything he's, well, we've got. Now, my question is... Megan, you have done a pretty darn good job so far of stealing. Okay, you need to be nice to people. Um, that that actually makes this kind of a bad idea. You know what, Let, let's do that and see the odds. Why not? Megan, if you can steal this, you will be my hero forever. Not worth it, I'd rather have you attack. Okay. Okay, Jesse. You can... Right, I need you to do... Okay, that's a... I could do that! I could... I could... Okay, I am learning new things every day. Okay, fear. This puts you out in the front, but... Eh. I'm fine with that. And Megan. Let's see. That puts you within three tiles of Laharl. I don't think that's worth it. Okay. Let's do that. Let's have... Let's have these guys... Let's have these guys... Ooh! Oh, do we have enough space for Delta Split? Because Delta... I remember Delta Split being pretty powerful, but... It is very iffy when it comes to the space required for it to be used. Because you need... Those, as you can see on the top screen, I don't know how well you can see it, but yeah, you need those two spaces to be clear. So, let's just. Not that. Dark Flash. That should be good. And Tim. Right, Tim. Okay, I think we should be good. I wanna, I'm curious to see how much damage Lahal does, because. He has over 200 attack. 100? Not bad. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all because... Look at that. 38, yeah. Uh, Etna's kind of sucky when it comes to damage. Nothing too special there. Okay. We should easily reach 300. Maybe... If we can reach 400, that'd be great. 
actually. Can you reach 400? Okay. 341. And I trust in you, Megan. Not Megan, Fear. I always confuse Fear and Megan. Okay, that's fine, I think. Okay, I don't think we're gonna kill this guy. No, I doubt it. Unless we can have Hogmiser kill him. Uh, I don't think we can have a Hogmiser kill him. Okay. Now, my question is... Can we use bait? No, I, I think I would. I'd rather have Hogmiser. Yeah, I'd rather have Hogmiser. So let's just do that. We can line these guys up because... Well, I don't think virus can get to them all right that was a pretty good first round on virus let's see how much this hurts because this is gonna hurt a lot oh boy oh fear's dead fear's dead but of course okay and i did a bad and oh this is different Oh, never mind then, he does have a new move. I just thought it was always the same as the other one. Okay. And this is also new, Jack the Ripper. Well, it's really ripping into Jesse, that hurt. And we lost our healer. Well, our main healer, I have to say. So... Let's try that. Okay, try that. Now, surrounding surrounding uh, virus isn't that good idea. Isn't that good an idea? But it's viable. I say it's viable. Maybe we can poison him. Actually, that be. I think that's pretty good if we can poison him. So let's see where this goes for now. We should be able to deal decent damage to him. Thirty-four. Yeah, but that's an opening round. Please tell me I set Flan to attack him, because that is going to be a mistake if I didn't. Okay, this should deal more damage, 54, yeah. That dealt more damage than Pinuraid. Skull Splitter. Easy 200 damage. Oh, we should have him. We should have him. Go Isabel! Go Isabel! Kill him! No. White. One, one, two. So, can Jesse make it there? Jesse knows asteroid drop too, so that's. I'd say that's pretty good. Don't, don't just whack fires. That's a terrible, terrible idea. Let's see. Finish him. Finish him. So all of our problems will be gone. Because really, this stage wouldn't be so difficult if it weren't for Vyres, because Vyres is nasty. Okay. So, Hogmiser, you can finish off this guy with a spinning slash. There you go. Make you happy. I heard that's your favorite move. Alright, that was pretty good, I have to say. Now all we have left are these jokers. Alright, let's bring Tim over here. And... Do we have enough space for Tiger Charge? Yes, we do. Tiger Charge actually hurts a lot. So... Let's see! 46. Uh, not as much as I hoped we would get, but... At least we killed the big guy. The big guy Vyres. And yeah, Fear is definitely dead now. She wasn't dead before. She had like, what, 1 HP? Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, this is a... This is a perfect... Perfect place for an AoE, actually. Please don't... Okay, don't... I was gonna say, don't get into a counter war, Tim. Because that'd be bad. Now, Flan, you're... At that, level 14. That's how much XP Virus gives you, it's insane. So, execute, and this should at least deal substantial damage. Oh yeah, one hit for a hundred, wow. 
Yeah, speaking of substantial damage, at least Etna will get a level. Hopefully she'll get a level at least. By killing this guy. If she doesn't kill this guy, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, 73 damage. Yeah, that guy wasn't that tough. It's these two killer armors that are pretty, pretty tough and we have to look out for. Though... I do think that we can... Actually, I know what to do. Laharl, you move over there. You do a skull splitter. Tim can move over here. And you can do a spinning slash. And that is a pretty decent AoE attack, I have to say. Though if Laharl doesn't kill this guy, I'll be surprised. Because Laharl is dealing it. Yeah, we didn't even need to do that. The Harl de deals just a whack ton of damage, it's insane. I'd say that the grinding, that um, that common axe was definitely worth it. I think... I actually don't know who to send. So that guy should be dead within like a, a special hit. So you know what, Isabel? You don't throw very far, but you throw far enough, right? Please tell me you throw far enough. You do. Okay. Um, this is awkward. Etna, can you move? Yes, you can. Okay. That's good. I was gonna say that'd be a bit awkward. All right, Jesse, get the kill. There you go. That actually didn't go too badly, though we a lot of people did die. And. Oh, look at that EXP too, wow. Yeah, this is why I wish more people were alive. <laughs> I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the lovely mademoiselle. But let moi tell you this. My name is the Dark Adonis. Make such a pitiful face. Hmm, isn't this what you're looking for? Laharl! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. Why? Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? to get that reward from you. <laughs> what, what's so funny? Thank you, Laharl. Stop it already! I told you not to talk like that! It's giving me the chills! Just give me my reward! Uh, do I have to spell it out? The reward! Give me the something good you promised me! Oh, 
have that. I already gave it to you. What? Put your hand to your heart. Can you feel it? The warmth inside your heart? You faced great danger to find this pendant. You pretend to be only evil, but there is definitely kindness in your heart. To give you the opportunity to realize that kindness? That is my reward for you. Crazy! Kindness is love. The day is near when you will awaken to love. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've been tricked by an angel! Damn it! I'll remember this! Deceiving the prince, huh? Not bad at all. Really? You look happy. Yes, I am. I now know that there is love within Laharl's heart. And if there is love inside him, that means there is love in all demons. One day, angels and demons could be friends. I couldn't be happier. Boy, that theory is a bit out there. You really are a love freak. But you're bound to be disappointed if you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery. Most demons would choke you from behind without a second thought. Are you like that, Etna? Maybe. Damn that flan! She managed to survive. Hmm. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. Oh, consider yourself lucky this time. But I, Volcanus, shall emerge victorious in the end. Got that? Don't forget it, even if I don't make an appearance for a while. Will you be returning in the sky of four? Promise me! I'll take that as a yes. I think he's hotter in the sky of four. Introducing the Netherworld Baseball League's most notorious losers, the Rotten Pitches! In their first game of the season, they'll face last year's champs, the Dark Durians. Their names are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their confidence at the hands of the Dark Durian Nine. Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, a mysterious pinch hitter appears, awakening the Peach's true baseball spirit. And the soul burns brightly! You shouldn't play with fire. Next, on Mighty Slugger Etna, Episode 5, the miracle full base hat trick kickoff into tomorrow! Huh? Is this not baseball? <laughs> <laughs>